On this week's boiler tip, we're responding to a question about blowing down drip legs in front of traps. And really there's two questions. Do we need to do that? And can it cause an inverted bucket trap to lose its prime? Um, let's talk about the trap losing its prime first. Uh, an inverted bucket trap has to stay full of condensate for the bucket mechanism to work correctly. Um, essentially, because if there's no water within the trap for the bucket to float within, um, it's not gonna function properly. And, and sometimes you can hear an inverted bucket trap that's lost its prime because it just sits there and you hear it ringing. I, I call it cowbell. It's just gonna be a really loud, obnoxious sound. Um, and you can you usually hear that from outside the trap without any, um, special equipment whatsoever. Um, the reason that you can lose the prime sometimes if you drop the pressure on the trap inlet is because the water within the trap is gonna flash under reduced pressure, um, like on a shutdown, and evaporate that water. In general use, um, that doesn't occur very frequently um, because there is a standpipe within the body of the trap that basically works to prevent the siphoning. By the time steam gets down to the top of that, there's still a residual of water in there that's enough to allow it to resume operation. If that happens a lot because we're starting up and shutting down um, a system, um, a check valve actually on the inlet of the inverted bucket trap will prevent that system vacuum should it occur from actually being able to siphon it at all. So while it's typical to have a check valve on the outlet of a trap, putting one on the inlet of an inverted bucket trap will help prevent loss of prime. Now, if I've got a drip leg and I'm starting up a system from cold, blowing down that drip leg as we warm up just keeps the system from flooding um, on startup because we don't have a lot of pressure to push through. So that's one reason we might blow down the drip leg in front of a steam main trap is just to help remove condensate on startup. But once we're in operation, it really shouldn't require blowing down that inlet drip leg. If we have to do that, it could indicate that this trap's undersized and we're backing up um, condensate into the system. But generally, if I've got 95 pounds of steam pressure on the system, even if I blow that drip leg down, that valve outlet's not large enough to actually drop the pressure significantly in the drip leg, and we're not really gonna be inclined to lose prime on the trap. <laughs>